This is a review of the Slinger tennis ball bag. I love this machine when it works. So I've had this machine for about a year and a half and I've only used it about 15 times because I was in the process of moving and moving multiple times. But um, after about a year and a half, the battery, which is located in here, is now dead. And I had it in the garage and I had it next to my tools that all have batteries in them and they all those batteries still work. But this battery after 15 or after uh, like 15 months is now dead and no longer works. As you can see, I have the machine plugged in to the wall with an extension cord and I have the remote here. And it wouldn't be so bad if I could have the power actually power on and power the machine because of the, the dead battery. But as you can see, by turning it on, you hear it start starting up and then it just dies down. So it will not run plugged into the wall, even though it has the battery inside of it. So it should just, the power should just bypass the battery completely and just power on the machine and be able to use the machine. Here's the biggest problem with Slinger. They have no batteries in stock. You sell these machines and you can't keep batteries in stock. This machine is completely useless without a battery. And now I'm gonna be required to buy another battery from them for, another, for 80 bucks, which means these batteries, I guess are gonna go bad every year, every 12, 15 months. So they've got themselves a built-in revenue cycle of charging everybody um, money for new batteries every other year which I really think is a, a crap deal. They really need to figure out their battery situation. One, the technology, and two, how to keep these things working for a long period of time. So as you can see, the machine's in perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with the machine. It's in great shape, great condition, no scuffs, scrapes, scrape, scratches on it. It's never been abused, but hopefully Slinger figures this out and uh, gets these machines to work with the power on if their batteries aren't gonna work and if they can't keep the batteries in stock. I don't wanna hear any complaining about why we can't keep our batteries in stock. It's just poor management, poor planning, and poor supply um, chain uh, and uh, uh, poor partnership on their part. They should have figured this out a long time ago and had partners in the rears to figure out how to keep these batteries in stock because now this machine gets to sit idle and I don't get my exercise and I don't get my workout. So um, I'm, I'm right now extremely disappointed with this product. And I want everybody else to know that you will be forced to buy batteries too. Good luck.